I'm John O. Parker. This is my dad, Robert Parker's collection. We've collected this since I've been growing up. How good is this? Absolutely brilliant. At the back here, it's got the radio rack. The actual unit markings? Yes. Yeah. All around Victoria, wherever he could find something, he'd go. In the bush where they've turned them into logging machines and that sort of stuff, anywhere where there was a whisper, he'd be there. Is that a tape ring, John? That is fantastic. This isn't a shed, this is an Aladdin's cave. That's got grenade mesh still in place. This little baby would have made life easy. I'll bring a 20 tonne excavator home tonight. I'll get most of my guys here tomorrow to help so that when the trucks turn up, we can just start pulling them out of the forest and uh, <laughs> getting them on the trucks. Well, we've got some trucks that are going to turn up in about another half hour and Jono and his boys are here. Got his, got his two young fellas Welcome. helping us. <laughs> and uh, Morning. we're going to get stuck in it. They've got a 20 ton excavator. They're going to start lifting some gear off the top of the tanks and then we'll be able to dra drag them straight out, hopefully. It's lucky for us that Jono and his family have an earth moving business. So they have all the heavy machinery we need to make this job a lot easier. Hey, Hamish, what, what are we grabbing first here? Uh, pretty sure that's a dingo, some sort of dingo armor. Yeah. Once I'm too familiar with it, I'm more of a ferret man myself, but <laughs> oh, we'll sling it up and we'll chuck the 20 tonner on it, cut a few trees down, I reckon we'll be right. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Some of these vehicles have been parked here since the 80s, so there's still all sorts of flora and fauna living in and around these remarkable pieces. <laughs> now we're talking. in it just about everything's in it look oil cooler the double um, coupled engine coupler the toolbox over there all the racks for the shells fire extinguishers fire extinguishers even got the guard still in it so they just take, basically just lifted the whole turret turret basket out we'll have our own bloody armor division here. <laughs> <laughs> let's hope so with the foliage clear and the dingo out of the way the boys fire up the dozer this vehicle is the only one with tracks on it. We have no idea if the final drives are seized, but we're about to find out. You can see that a farmer has cut away a big chunk of the side of this vehicle. That should be easy to patch up with some regular steel, the same width as the armor. She rides again, Daryl. It's alive! <laughs> This is the only one with tracks still on it. The others only have their road wheels and have sunk quite away into the soft earth. tow hooks on this one has seized and we're having some trouble freeing it up. Get the right angle. Just a little bit. This small tree has grown through the other tow hook and through the extra bolt-on armour. Just remarkable. Watch your fingers. Pesky little tree. Yep. It does, but... 
go up from the bottom if you can. Yeah, that should there be There we right. go. Yeah. The guy that's got it won't sell it though. Nah, there's a lot of people want that. Now for the moment of truth. It's just unbelievable that after all this time out in the weather, the bearings and suspension units are still holding up this well. Based on top of this one is part of a Stuart light tank. Jono's holding onto his Stuart tank part collection for now. Timber. Part of what is so helpful about this find is all of the intact modifications and add-ons that are unique to Australian Grant tanks. It's hard to find reliable info on this, so there's nothing like a real-world example to help guide our own restorations. I've got no idea what they are. They, they, they could wrap around, that they're like a hinged here, the bolt's there. It's just storing something across here. We need to find some photos or references yeah. or something. It's definitely an Australian... Uh, Adaption, you know. Yeah. Uh, so we'll see what it, what it is. It might be, could be for camo net. Who knows? You know, yeah, I'm just, I'm just yeah. guessing. Yeah. Any there's, anything else you've noticed? There's lots of little connection points that we don't have on ours. Like, don't don't know what that held. If you look down the back here, there's all these points too. This this here. These points. See, all, all this stuff on ours, we thought farmers had put it on, hey? Yeah, well, a lot of stuff we weren't sure of. This just tells us, confirms it, that, that this was what was on it originally. Yeah. So, this sign's a red circle, I think, here. So, that'll tell us which armour brigade, but then there's a marker yellow. So, it's really weird. Our, our uh, manager, Jason, can do a lot of research on these and try and track them down. Yeah, easy. Yeah, so yeah. They, they don't look too bad. Yeah, look, look at them. Let yeah. them go. Yeah. I know they don't look like much now, but trust me, these vehicles are in excellent condition and have very complete interiors. The workshop crew have previously managed to restore a lot more with a lot less over the last couple of years. Now for number three. Um, probably cut that. <laughs> <laughs> this, really this one's still got all the fuel tanks and everything in it too. How good is that? How's this one look, fellas, to get out? Uh, I reckon it'll be the most intricate we've done so far. <laughs> yeah, you reckon? Bit annoying. Reckon These big, big pines growing through it. Yeah, it's probably got the most to do. <laughs> I'll put them away and cut them on there, right? Eh? Oh, now we can see what we're, what we're attacking. All of the tanks have a lot of strange numbers painted on the interior. We suppose there's something to do with the factory assembly line, but we're not 100% sure. I reckon that's tank armour. I reckon you're The terror of the pines. Hamish. Yeah. Getting into it. Attacking. <laughs> Attacking. Engine mount. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Hamish, we'll lasso that. Yeah, right, eh? This or that. 
anything. We're going to need that piece for the one we're doing it. Yeah. It's got the bloody handles, locking handles and everything on it. Yep, beauty. And we'll just put that out to the side. Trying to get a big fat man falling through. Lucky these. Yeah, both lines together. Yeah, Someone grab that. Yeah, if you try and clear around the front a bit and I can get under it with the pole saw, or I'll. Right, got some pine yep. needles in the place here. Yeah. So it's just been pushed up against it. So if we, yeah, so I think you can we take that. So you can just take that. Yeah, we can yeah. stay on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. No way. <laughs> Why not? The pines are all clear. This vehicle should pull out okay if the wheels still roll. Yeah, mate. Unbelievable. I'm not a network producer or anything like that, but there was a part of me that was a little bit disappointed that it was that easy. It's good content if there's a little bit of drama, but we like to show it how it is on this channel. No manufactured moments, no scripted banter, just bringing you guys along as if you were here with us, giving us a hand. By the way, it was actually a very big relief to have everything come out smoothly. We've got a lot of work to do if we're going to get everything loaded today. Turret next. Turret, yeah. Turret. I think that's a wooden block for holding flares. Is that an original wooden block painted white? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like they're for 25 mil flares. Can you keep going around? No. You guys are getting a BMX track you never had. Yeah. Of the deal, we managed to have these beautiful 17 pounder barrels included. I wonder what we'll do with them. Yeah, we won't move that. We get those pallets out and then they can see the pallets. Oh, no, four quick. We'll just run a chain around that and yeah. grab them in. With the tanks ready to be loaded, the boys palletise and prepare the rest of the Grant tank parts. We're just getting out this bit of barrel that we've been uh, given as well and some hatches that are off the, possibly off that turret we dragged out earlier. So yeah, there's bits and pieces everywhere, it's just amazing. New old stock, that's the original packaging. Unfortunately, they've been out in the weather for a while, but it's still not bad. Under that, they're going to be almost perfect. What is that, like a plasticky sort of? Oh, it's like a cardboard impregnated with grease, like a, a tar paper type thing. Wow. So... Oh, more. more new old stocks. Original crates from World War II, probably. I'd say you're probably right, Dad. Yeah.
that Robert Parker, Jono's dad, managed to collect are just amazing. Transmissions, spare parts, guns, cogs, gears, hatches, boxes, several restoration projects worth of gear. So you might need a 20 tonner to reach in and pick up. That's not light. Oh yeah, true, that Jenny. Unfortunately about tanks, nothing is light. So it might have a better go going over that way. But I think these are the injectors we want to get. So we'll pop that in that container. That's a block out of 75. Just to your uh, left there, Hamish, is a generator. That's pretty heavy. I don't know whether two of us will manhandle that out. Oh yeah, I reckon Actually, me, me yeah. and Zach can get that. Oh, sure. I will grab that out and get that going. Who needs a 20 tonner when you've got two strong young lads? I think that's the turret drive generator, uh, motor. So that's beautiful, we don't have one of them. Oh yeah, that's the front of a gun. Yeah, and then that, that rotor? Yep. What's that? That's the, the mount for that gun. Oh yeah. You could have told me it was a flux capacitor and I would have believed you. <laughs> yep. This is an original twin diesel power pack with the coupling still intact. These are very, very rare. We won't be using this in our current restoration as we're too far along in the process, but I think it might come in handy for a future project at some point. Something we didn't notice about this pack is what it was bolted onto. Someone's made that out of half a uh, thing. That's the gauge. This is exactly what we need. This is it. That's the gauge we want. And there's. Oh, that one's damaged, but. There you You're go. joking. Engine RPMs. What's that? Pressure? Oil, oil pressure. pressure. Maybe oil pressure. Yep. That's temperature. Yeah, that would have been Battery. That's battery. Yeah. Oh, that temperature there. Yeah. So someone's used as a test bed to use test it. That's in perfect nick. Out of a dash. How about that? What are the chances of that? <laughs> that's, that's brilliant. Fantastic. We can fill up our dash there with original gauges. That's perfect. What a find.